Watch this golf shot. It was not intended to be a trick shot, but turns out to be because he hit two balls. One went like 10 feet. The other was a beautiful shot onto the green. Those two camera guys, they don't even know the other ball exists. This old guy's like, is this your ball, mate? And he's like, um, hope not. Really thought I hit it well. What's what's that ball? No, no, no. I want what happened? So look, you see the two white dots? Those are golf balls. Golf balls are like white dots. Look. Okay. So one goes up. The other ball, the ball he hit up is his ball. There was another ball in the grass that he didn't know. It was just buried there, and he dislodged it and went forward. The odds of that are incredible. It could have been one inch further a different way to the left or right, and he wouldn't have hit it. No one would have known that ball existed, but now that ball gets to live a whole new life. Someone's going to take it, put it in their bag, and play with it. It doesn't count as his shot. His was a good shot. That's wild. And here's some other wild stuff that you missed because you never planned on watching. This episode is brought to you by Mizzen and Main, the inventors of the performance fabric dress shirt. Let's get right into it. We are going to college baseball. Coastal Carolina versus Davidson. There's runners on first and third in the first. They've already scored three runs. They're looking for a big one. Hit by a pitch. Did he go? Did he not go? Catcher throws to third to get the runner. The ball goes into left field. The runner from third scores. The runner from second's going to score too. Now it's 5 nothing. but everyone's kind of like time out. The batter's like, oh, what happened? I thought I got hit by the pitch. Umpire's like, what did you see? I don't know. What did you see? What did you see? He did get hit by the pitch. It hit him right in the toe, and then it bounces that way before hitting the catcher. So the two runs don't score. Now this, I don't even know what this coach is mad about. Two runs are coming off the board. Unless he's the coastal coach, why isn't he wearing white? He's got the batter's helmet on. The runner clearly got hit because he runs to first as if he got hit. Why would you fake that? Well, now it's bases loaded, two outs, and they had two runs. They don't have them, and they're not going to get them in the first because that's a fly out to end the inning. And Coastal Carolina's like, damn, are we going to get any more? And, yeah, they, they get a lot. They get a lot of runs. They put up, like, 26 runs. There's 10 in the fourth, 11, 12, 13 in the sixth, 14 in the sixth, 15 in the sixth. 19 in the 6th, 20 in the 7th, oh, 21, 24. They blew them out, 26 to 5, so it didn't matter at all. Let's go to the NLL. I've told you about the Georgia Swarm in some updates I've done here. They didn't have a great start to the season. 0-7, oh, and, and they were losing close games. Well, push came to shove, and finally they get a victory. They get to congratulate each other. Hey, good game. Hey, good game. Hey, good game. First time they can say that to each other. Then they're 2-7. and seven. They beat Albany. They blew them out in that game. And now they're in overtime again against Albany again. Albany, you're going to lose twice to the team that doesn't win? Yes. And kind of easy. Kind of an easy goal, right? I mean, Thompson has the ball there, kind of just runs to the middle and shoots it. And the goalie just what didn't get over, bumps him. What up? You like that? You like that? You guys are 0-2 against us. We were 0-1 forever against everyone. So good job by the Georgia Swarm. Bad job by Albany, if we're being honest. But good job by Georgia Swarm. Moving on to Rugby Sevens. Rugby Sevens kind of fun because how it works is it's more like the PGA Tour. There's a bunch of tournaments. You can win that tournament, but then there's a, like a league standings, and the league is made up of a bunch of tournaments, and New Zealand was blowing people away. South Africa, they beat them. I think this was the first tournament in, maybe this was the one in LA. I don't know. They beat them. They just had, oh, the guy's eyes went scary there. He was celebrating. He was fired up, and then his eyes went really scary. 38 nothing. they beat South Africa in this one, and then they played Argentina in the next one. Argentina's pretty good. I think they're second in the standings. New Zealand, the All Blacks are first. Oh, fake pass. Fooled you, and I've scored. I've scored. You didn't stop me. So they beat them. But then Australia in the third one, this dude who looks like a sitcom character, like in a flashback to his old glory days, kind of like running super shoulder heavy like actors do when they're like fake fast running, and he's got the mustache and the look, and he scores. Good job by him. And this guy's like, oh, I'm going to pass it. I'm going to pass it to number six. Psych. Idiot. 
I'm just going to take it the whole way myself. Australia looks like they're playing in a nostalgia scene. Those uniforms, those hairdos. It just looks like this is a flashback to like a movie they're making about the 70s rugby team, but it's not. That's the current day Australia Rugby Sevens team. Rugby Sevens is fun to watch because it's it's just super fast guys. Just a bunch of speedsters running around scoring on each other. New Zealand's in first place. Hopefully that nostalgic Australia team can catch up because I like rooting for Team Australia because I lived there for a little bit. All right, I'm keeping this one nice and tidy and short because it's actually from last week. I missed it, and then I'm going to double up soon with this week's coming out in a couple days. I think, fingers crossed, hopefully I can get ahead of them. These were the things you missed that you never planned on watching. We have Fan of the Week coming up, but first I got to tell you to go to mizzenandmain.com. Use promo code JOMBOY. You'll receive $35 off any regular price order of $125 or more. $35 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N.com. Use promo code JOMBOY. So the winner of last week's Fan of the Week was... Congrats to them. And place your votes. Who was the fan of the week this week? Take it serious. Make sure that you really are voting with your heart, okay? Don't vote with your brain. Vote with your heart. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that helps us out, and we appreciate it. See you soon for another edition of Things You Missed that you never planned on watching.